Today is Thursday, September 21st, and we're on a day five schedule. Uh, let's get right into the announcements. We had a great turnout for the informational meeting about PJAS. The next PJAS workshop will be held in room 205 on Thursday, September 21st, right after school. Come to Thursday's workshop with the PJAS information investigation sheet filled out so we can help you begin the design of your investigation. Please talk to your science, math, STEAM, or other teacher about a suitable topic for your project for the workshop. If you missed the first meeting, it's not too late. Join us on Thursday, the 21st. Attention all junior high students. This Friday, we will reveal this year's junior high theme. Last year, students explored the Wild Kingdom. The year prior, it was a showdown among superheroes, and our very first year in the junior high was a battle of the Greek gods. What will this year's theme be? Listen closely to the announcements all week to try and find out some hints for Friday's big reveal. Attention prom committee and junior class officers. There will be a mandatory meeting after school in room 216 with Mrs. Kavortek on Monday, September 24th. If you are unable to attend the meeting, please contact Mrs. K as soon as possible to receive materials and details. The girls cross country team swept a double duel defeating Burrell 24-30. 24 to 33 and Ellis 18 to 41. Double duel, it's kind of a redundancy. Uh, top finishers for Riverview were Izzy Kamaniak, who finished first overall with a time of 22 29. Other top finishers were Marina Peets, third, Michaela Collins, sixth, Allie Johnson, eighth, Jillian Gaynor, ninth, and Annie Bettler, tenth. The boys' cross country team also swept their double duel, shutting out Burrow 15 to 50 and Redeemer Lutheran 15 to 50 as well. Uh, Riverview captured the first 10 places as follows. Ben Barnes, Ryan Cecil, Gideon Deasy, Mike McDonough, Eric Ketterer, Mason Oaks, Jacob Sullivan, Aiden Sebastian, Mason Masicott, and Ben Swenson. Both the girls and boys are undefeated in section heading into Monday's next, week, next week's meet against Indiana. Attention all juniors and seniors. There are some upcoming visits from colleges and universities. If you are interested in attending any of these college visits, please see our guidance counselors to receive a pass. You must get a pass if you want to attend a college visit. Some upcoming visits include uh, September 22nd, period 3 is uh, IUP, and period 4 is Mercyhurst. September 25th, uh, period 8 is Gannon, and period 9 is Westminster. So this should be good. In volleyball news, the JV squad played one of their best games so far this season in Tuesday night's match against Trinity. We dropped the first set to Trinity, but the girls bounced back and played strong defense coupled with aggressive serving to win sets two and three. Katie Zatoski led the offense with smart plays and sets while smart plays and sets, while Lauren Dugan and Emily Petragala put away some big hits for the Raiders. The varsity played incredibly well as a team, but were unable to come out on top, losing three to two. Riverview remained level headed and determined despite several blown calls in the fifth set. Veronica Gibson and Paige Rizzuti had some huge kills, while Ariel Rafferty and Maggie Conti made some great defensive plays all around. The varsity team will play Vincentian at 345 today at home. There will not be a JV game. Today, SAD, or Students Against Destructive Decisions, will be hosting the Safety Bug Simulation for students in grades 10 through 12. Students in grades 10 through 12 will gain real-life exposure to the perils of impaired driving without being put at risk. The Safety Bug is part of an innovation, innovative program developed by Pennsylvania Driving Under the Influence Association. Students interested in participating must have a valid driver's license will be able to drive the Safety Bug. Learners' permits will not be allowed the individual to drive the Safety Bug. However, we encourage any students in grades 10 through 12 to be along for the ride as passengers, even if not driving. This event will take place during 10th, 11th, and 12th grade English classes with Ms. Walsh, Mr. Carlin, and Mrs. Rocchini. This is also School Picture Day. No student is to miss their picture. Students working with Mrs. Hustleton for Picture Day should proceed in doing so and will miss the simulation unless they have another time throughout the day that they can participate. The Raider Varsity Golf Team sent four players to the sectional qualifiers held at the demanding Greensburg Country Club. Only two total players from the section qualified to advance to the next round, none from Riverview. However, the Raiders acquitted themselves quite well with sophomore Jake Harden, Jack Harden I'm sorry, finishing 6th and so sophomore Jake Shoup finishing 16th. The future looks bright for our young players and we hope to have several players over the next two years qualify to advance to the next round. Congratulations Jake and Jack. 
That's all the news and announcements we have for today, Riverview. Please remember to stand for the pledge. I'm Adam. I'm Garda. Have a great day.